Guys, Deluda Guna, YouTube's in Golo Kante. I'm back again. Now, it's a rather sad video. It's been brought to my attention. I was on the BBC website browsing a couple articles. As you do, being a football addict, you want to see everything that's going on. I came across Cyrus Christie. Now, for those who don't know, he's a place for Middlesbrough domestically, internationally. He's of Jamaican and I believe English heritage and as well as um, Republic of Ireland, which he has chosen to play for. That's the nation he plays for, the Republic of Ireland. So he's doing fairly well in his career. Now, the main reason for this is he's been subject to racial abuse he's a black so that's mixed race player i believe forgive me if i'm wrong but he's a yeah he's a black he's a black player yeah he was subject to racial abuse throughout the whole he said throughout the whole of the world cup qualifiers but in particular the last game in the 5-1 defeat against um, denmark which i believe ericsson scored a hat-trick forgive me if i'm wrong i didn't watch it, i just saw highlights so yeah he scored a known goal but it's deep it's deeply sad man it's it's, it's upsetting hearing about this in 2017 yet again from from his own play, from his own nation from his own his own fans on paper like it's now it's important to mention that the 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 federation a number of players have condemned it and supported him in particular James McLean standing by him and he's deeply affected he's someone that very always stands up for what's right and his beliefs to be honest with you it is it's upsetting that you hear this from your own fans you, it's in 2017 you heard talk of he said he, he's subject to chance of is it wait wait let me just I've got so much to say let me slow it down. What scares me most is it's been going on for the whole um, his whole World Cup qualifier and he's put up with it and kept quiet until now he's released a statement condemning it and he's and, and as it's come to a head against um, Denmark in that heavy defeat, it's upsetting that we don't hear about this. Like who had a clue that this was going down until he finally had enough and it came out. That's what firstly upsetting. The talk of lynching, people saying they're going to lynch him and sending threats of lynching in 2017. Now, those who don't know the connotations of saying that to a black person, if you go and just, just look at history, lynching, well, how many people and the numbers have died at the hands of lynching probably won't even be put into, you can't, there's probably not official numbers. It's, it's, it's sickening that, that trolls are out there and think that sort of stuff's funny. Or if they don't think that's funny, it's even more concerning that if they genuinely want to do that to someone, it's annoying. You also heard go back to Jamaica, which is just oh, it's upsetting. It's upsetting to hear, man. It's just it's it's upsetting. Like I said, he released a post on social media condemning it, saying it's been happening for months and it's come to an head. It's it's annoying, man. I've spoken with a lot of my Irish friends and they've condemned it and they're shocked. They're appalled by it. And, and a fairly older Irish friend I have that's old enough to remember um, his parents coming over when they were told no Irish, no dogs, no part of my language, niggers. He he can't understand why it, why it happened. I mean, you can't you we can never racism is an illness. We'll never comprehend them idiots. And it's important to quantify. This is just a small section of Republic of Ireland fans. The majority are, are respectable and support their players regardless of skin color and all of them things and voice their discontent in appropriate ways. It's just these small. We know how football is. These small racist cowards. They want to be able to live their bigotry and their. They're just nonsense in and hide between themselves and in the crowds and all of these things. They'll never say it to his face. They'll never say it to anyone's face. They'll never let it be known in, in the public. And that's even more concerning because a lot of these are school teachers and things like that. But staying on task, it's upsetting, man. It's upsetting. And when you consider, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, kick it out of the organisation that's very at the front or very much at the front of dealing with racism, tackling racism and bringing it to a heat and increasing diversity in, in, in football as a whole for whether it's gender, whether it's um, people of colour. They've said they've, re they've released a report where they received the most um, racial reports and, and sexist reports and all things of that nature. Um to them in 2017 now when we quantify the whole brexit and now everybody's coming out with their real thoughts and you're seeing it in the media and i tell you guys all the time society reflects football and football mirrors society is nothing new under the sun it's deeply concerning man like my sim i sympathize so much with this guy my sympathy goes to him it must be hard enough being called racist names by one person let alone a small section of, of fans like it's just it's demoralizing really and what's the demor more more demoralizing is that the talk of lynching, man. I mean, that actually scares me. Like, do they know what they're saying? Like, sadly, they probably do. Like I said, they're cowards. Police said they're investigating. We know the same old recycled story is going to come out and there's nothing's going to happen. Are FIFA going to do anything? Is anyone major going to do anything? No. Yet again, we're at this. It will just, it was just war under the bridge, essentially, now. We'll just let it pass, keep quiet about it until the next one comes. And even this was whispered about, like, I had to browse. I had to browse BBC. Like I wasn't. This would have passed me if I didn't go at that specific, um, specific time and particular moment in time and come across this on the internet. It's saddening, man. It's saddening. Sorry.
guys to Ludic, you know, signing out. There's really not much more to be said, man. I know it sounds rather doom and gloom, but yeah, if you want happiness, just go check out the other vids and I've got more great vids coming. But sadly, we've got to talk about the deeper topics that happen in football. DG, signing out. Thank you for watching. Of course, my people. Thank you.